Thanks for staying with us. Now let's get the show on the road. Experts have said that a strong and sustainable democracy is dependent on functional and vibrant party structures. If the role must be beneficiary to the people in the democratic process, they must be played within the dictates and ambience of the principles of internal party democracy. Internal democracy ensures that the procedures of doing things within the party are clearly known to members and applied consistently to the people. It is centered on principles conceived to embrace the idea that all stakeholders should be part of the decision-making process. This is because on the one hand, internal party democracy reflects the degree of institutional, institutionalization and inclusiveness and decentralization in party structures and politics. On the other hand, it, it indicates the extent to which internal party decisions are formalized and internalized. All that sounds like big grammar. Mm -hmm. It just means <laughs> that internal democracy is the basis of everything that is done in the political parties. Now, to analyze this in detail with us this morning, it's my pleasure to welcome in our studio in Lagos, a legal practitioner, Mr. Chima Naji, Mr. Proverbs. Good morning. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Good morning, viewers. And joining us from Abuja is the National <coughs> Coordinator, Masses Movement for Buhari, Mr. Tosin Adeyonju. Good morning. It's my pleasure. And morning, the PDP yeah. member, Catch Onanuju, is also in our Abuja studios. Morning, Catch. Thank you very much for having me. Good. Let me start with the bird we have in our hand in Lagos, <laughs> Mr. Naji. And please, no proverbs. Well, okay. You, you, okay. Can't, you can't be too sure. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> now, we're talking about internal democracy within the party structure. Um, how well do you think that this has been practiced in our political parties? Well, if it had been that well practiced, we probably would not have seen all the shenanigans, maneuvers, uh, gerrymandering, and all the political maneuvers across uh, political parties that uh, we have experienced in this country, not in the least the most recent uh, that just happened this week, within this week, I think. So that is uh, a, um, a symptom that um, signifies that nothing right has been done in the sense of promoting internal um, you know, democracy within the parties. And um, it's just like uh, the human body. You can't go to war with your stomach roaring from the other side, and your headache, your head is aching, your leg is paining you. Okay? All the body, they are not in, in, you know, in the same form. In sync. In they sync. are not in sync. <laughs> they are diametrically opposed to themselves. Oh, dear in the sense that what the brain is sending is being resisted by the various parts. That is what you can see if you want to extrapolate it to the political situation. Hmm. If you do not have internal organization, external achievements will be very difficult because you must come as a corporate entity, corporate in the sense of being one. If it is an organization, an organization cannot be pulling apart they must pull together if they must achieve results. In the same manner, political parties, if the governance structure does not conduce to internal harmonious functioning of the various constituent parts, mm -hmm. call it administrative parts, mm -hmm. they cannot lay claim to good governance being delivered to the polity. So in, the, in, in, in that sense, and in subscribing to the, your intro, which you said is all big grammar, that you were able to now funnel down in the manner of a complex uh, handset that just says, press this button. What happens internally is internal democracy of all the constituent 
you know, semiconductors and so on that are made by the electronic expert. But you are not the expert. But you know, if you press the button, all the bats, the parts that will play their part, will do their, their delivery and you'll have your call, mm. you know, delivered. In the same manner that Nigerians, the, the electorate, do not want to know who is the chairman of the party, who is the zonal coordinator. They want to know that this party has promised that they are going to do this, do that. Mm -hmm. If I put in my vote, which is pressing the button, mm. the other side will be delivery. But we don't see that. Mm. And so you have this uh, bickering, uh, cacophony, and all the kind of uh, problems that we are seeing now. Mm. Perhaps uh, in the course of time, we'll okay. develop our uh, ideas. Catch. Uh, let me swing to you now. Um, there have always, I, mean, I think in, the, in the, the parties across board, there have been accusations of imposition of candidates that the, um, what do they call those things that they have? When they have their meetings and then they elect, yeah, meetings, when, when they elect their, their flag bearers, the primaries. the primaries, that they have not been, you know, um, credible enough. Yes, we have had this problem, and uh, I believe uh, those are the things we found out. The problem of internal lack of internal democracy in a lot of our process, and then the issue of impunity, and uh, uh, that uh, those issues that we are saying we must take care of. As you have seen, uh, this is the beginning of this new democratic process. It's now got into 19 years. And we believe any party that seeks to survive must embrace that internal democracy and it also must kill impunity in its ranks. So if you want to do impositions, uh, that is not internal democracy. And I believe that is exactly what the PDP needs to do now, to embrace internal democracy in handling its primaries. And once the primaries are a product of a free and fair process that are embracing of internal democratic tenants, I believe whatever outcome and whoever comes from it will be acceptable to everybody, and that will be the polite ban that we will use to then heal the party and move forward. But when you do not embrace internal democracy, you will end up having an acrimonious outcome. And that's never good for parties. That primarily is a good reason why a lot of parties, a lot of people leave the party when they are cheated through impositions and the impunity of the leadership of the party. Okay, let, me, let me ask you, Tosi, you are for the masses movement for Buhari and um, if you look at the political parties that we have in Nigeria and look at the ideologies would you say that there are clear you know cut ways of each party doing their thing or is, is there a line that is just so thin yes um since, since, since 1999, you are all aware well that um, uh, the de democratic journey started since 1999, and the different parties have sprung up, have sprung up over the years. As so of today, we have about 63 political parties, and, and, and each of them have different uh, guiding principles, have different constitution, which to me should be their Bible. And, and, and all the, the manifestos, of the different political parties are enlisted in those um, uh, in the constitution. So, so by and large, I strongly believe that there are distinctions among the different political parties. Uh, you are well aware that uh, the present administration came uh, on the matter of change, uh, with a belief that um, we need to start doing things differently, and this necessitated the 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 kind of uh, acceptability, the kind of votes that the present leadership. Uh, Ghana from the electorate because they believe that uh, we must they, we must have a departure from the way we used to do things in the past. So, so, so by and large, and I think and I believe strongly that uh, uh, 
the president has not departed from the message of change that he promised, the good governance he promised. The APC as a political party, uh, to me and to many Nigerians that have voted them into power, uh, is a distinct political party with a clear-cut ideology about emancipation of the downtrodden, about good governance, about eradication of poverty, improved mm -hmm. infrastructure, mm -hmm. and, uh, 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 and basically uh, do things from differently from the way things are done. So, so for me, I believe strongly that uh, different political parties have their own ideology and, and is distinct from each other. There are, there are issues that are, they, they can be, they can be issues arises basically, but uh, by and large, to me and to, 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 to the political players, all the political parties have different ideologies. And I, and I think that's why we, we have what we experienced in the last general election. Okay, Mr. Uh, Daniel, you, um, I, I penned down uh, some of the things that you said here. You said they are clear-cut ideologies. And, um, you know, when we come back from this break, we'll look at that. Because how easy it is for the politicians to move from one party to another if there, uh, there are indeed clear-cut <laughs> ideologies. We'll